Yeah, good afternoon YouTube. Working on my DC load project here with the DC boost converter. So I've got my little Harbor Freight jump start battery pack. Got the two battery clamps hooked to my little cable. There's my incoming power. Jim Connor's YouTube channel has a pretty good review of these uh, converters. I'll put a link to his video here so you can uh, check that out. You can see here it's really easy to add a cooling fan to one of these. I just pl plug a 2.1 millimeter coax power plug into the extra input jack there and I get 12 volts to run a PC fan. And then on the output here, we'll swing over that way, I've got a, another meter. So I'm putting in 43 watts, getting out 39 watts. And then for a load, I've got a 300 watt halogen bulb. Actually the whole lamp assembly I took out of a Torchier floor lamp. So that makes a really nice load. You don't need to do any cooling for it. It was designed to run 300 watts continuous. And we're putting about 39 watts into the halogen bulb. And one thing you could do is add a relay on the input side and control that relay with a small uh, voltage controlled relay and you can set a specific voltage for them to turn on and off at and you could use that voltage sensitive relay to cut off the power to this and that way you could uh, make this automated. For instance if you wanted to do uh, a 20 hour load test on a battery this is going to have to run 20 hours. It's a 20 amp hour battery you would want to set this up for one amp current input and you can do that just by adjusting the output current and I can show you that here. You can see the input current is dropping as I turn down the output current. I guess that's the minimum there so now I'd have to turn the voltage down. Yeah there we go. See if we can get right at one amp. So there we're at 0.9697. Yeah, there's one amp. So if I wanted to do a 20 hour discharge rate, this could theoretically run for 20 hours and give us a uh, C over 20 capacity rating. And the nice thing is I haven't had to change the load over here. It's still the same 300 watt halogen bulb, but just by changing the voltage and current limits, I can pretty much set any output power I want. This is an a lab quality load, being that it's a uh, switching regulator, it's going to have a lot of noise, so you know you wouldn't want to use this for testing you know any electronics devices. But it would, it would be okay for loading down you know, power supply or discharge a battery for capacity testing or discharge a battery so you can recharge it. There you go, a little DC load running, draining my little battery. Looks like this Harbor Freight battery is still in pretty decent condition. It's well over 10 years old. Just keep it plugged into my solar charge controller to keep it topped off. So let's see what kind of high, highest power I can get all. Okay, that's about the most power I can get out of it, about 110 watts. The reason being this voltmeter right here is only rated for 60 volts. So I'm right at the 60 volt output limit. There's 110 output. You can see the boost converter is still running and we're getting 100 and 27 watts input at 10.8 amps and definitely the battery voltage has dropped. You can go anywhere from 1 to 10 amps. You know the inductor is warm to the touch but it's not hot. It's just a little warmer than ambient. And the nice thing that halogen lamp could run that all day long. That's a light load for it. It's only a third of its rated output. 
Yeah, so if you plug in the uh, current and voltage there, you get about 32 or 33 ohm resistance. And assuming it doesn't change too much with the added temperature, you could get pretty close to 200 watts of load into that up to 80 volts, but you, you would probably run out of the input current because 15 amps is the limit there. Now I'll wrap this video up and I'll show you some other things I plan on doing with this. So stay tuned for those videos. If you have any questions, put that in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.